has been over a month since California voters passed Proposition 8, but it's still a contentious issue. What's gotten lost in the debate about the future of same-sex marriage is its current standing. Jim Hooker and his husband Bruce are one of an estimated 18,000 gay couples who have been legally married in California. He gives only one term to describe where his marriage is now. Legal limbo. But the possibility of Prop 8 ending his marriage also gives way to another feeling. For somebody to tell you that we're going to take away that right as far as legal protection when you're already granted that right, it's a very painful, hurtful thing. The state Supreme Court will hear arguments next year to determine the constitutionality of recognizing marriage as solely between a man and a woman. Until they do, Tara Borelli will also have to sit and wonder about whether her marriage will overcome Prop 8's passage. It was really devastating. You know, you, you feel a little bit like you had the wind knocked out of you and it's, it's, a little, it's hard to recover from it because you, you come to cherish it and rely on it and depend on it. Uh, and my, my wife Susan wasn't sure if she could go through the heartbreak again. Many legal scholars on either side of the issue believe that even if Prop 8 stands, the marriages that have been performed will stand as well. Brad Sears is the executive director of the UCLA School of Law. He says the only way same-sex marriages will be nullified was if Prop 8 specifically said it would do that. Since it doesn't... It's pretty clear that those couples will, will continue to have their marriages recognized, that they um, will not be invalidated um, by the Supreme Court. For Jim and Tara, that's an opinion to rally around. Reporting for KCAL 9 News, I'm Kevin Liu.